Hey guys, again, welcome back. I know I've been MIA for the past several weeks or I think a month, a month maybe, but um, I've been very, very busy. It's unfortunate that I have to give you this. I have a very, well, bad news. Um, at last, my husky, um, my Baba is sick. So he has been diagnosed with ehrlichiosis and I have been treating him for the past two weeks. So um, I thought of documenting this. We are on our way to the vet in a while because he is scheduled to get a, a blood work exam so we can check his platelets. So ehrlichiosis, um, in case you don't know, it's a type of bacteria that hits your dog and it specifically targets um, the platelet count of the dog. The platelets are actually a, it's a component of the blood which helps the blood of your well, even in humans, it is actually the one responsible for the blood clotting. So if it, uh, if it hits very low, tendency is your dog will bleed. So one of the signs and symptoms of ehrlichiosis is um, one which is very visible is the bleeding disorder, which is very unfortunate because my dog has it. Um, by the way, at last also had ehrlichiosis last year so he has been diagnosed now he's diagnosed again now he's diagnosed again so, and so this is the second time that we are doing this treatment and it has been very very stressful and tiring i haven't had enough um well a peaceful sleep because i'm very very worried of my dog so i'm just hoping and praying to god that you know later on when we do the blood test i hope it's um some it, something comes out positive i hope the plate that counts um it's it's gonna improve um it went down a few points about 10 to 15 points i think but than the normal but it's still you know um it's still a problem it's an issue that we need to that's why i have been treating him he has been given doxycycline and then um, a liver liver supplement and then some vitamins to help him so um, I'm just gonna keep this short because um, my dad's waiting downstairs we're just gonna we oh by the way we are going to st. Hyacinth's clinic for those of you who are looking for an open vet during the enhanced community quarantine this is the only vet that I found which is actually close to my house so we're gonna drive a few minutes away from my home and then we'll just see um please pray with me let's hope for a positive um blood work exam later on so update you later bye Bobby. Bobby, so we are on our way to the vet at last is here you should find your friends yay hindi ko alam kung makakadaan kami later on saka kung makakabalik kami pa uwi so, uh, yeah, yun. we're not sure if we're going to be able to pass the checkpoints later on. Because Rizal uh, is on total lockdown. But we will try and beg the police officers later on. Because Atlas really needs to get that blood work so we can see if his pain that's already. You're sick. Um, he looks okay. He is eating his regular diet, chicken. But uh, he has. I found. By the way, I found blood in his urine um, two weeks ago. That's why I took him to the vet. To the vet. And then he looked for me. There was one vet in, near our house. I was able to bring Atlas. So it was actually worse last year when he was also diagnosed with religiosis because I found him bleeding in our living room around two or I think two a.m. three a.m. in the morning. So we had to rush him. So by the way, his 
vet. I usually take all my pets in Martina Veterinary Hospital, but it's very unfortunate that they are not operating during this in That's there even though the it's, it's very nice. Although here in St. Hyacinth, it's a very small vet clinic, but you know they have uh, they have a lab there and they have also good reviews. So it's good I have an option pala which is um, a good vet then. But it's you know in far east. But you know still it's near our house. So uh, my dad's here na next stop lang kami somewhere to get the uh, battery of the car. So see you later. out improved and a normal yung components in blood so we will see if um, the medicines will continue or will stop or maybe the vet will prescribe a different medicine this time we, will, we don't know yet but let's hope and pray for positive results There's my bubba we're waiting this is the waiting game let's hope and pray Nakuha ko na yung blood test niya. Um, Nag-improve. So, I'm so happy. So, we are finally done. Um, so, good news. Magiling na siya. Nag-improve na yung platelet count. Yung RBC. And other components ng blood test niya. At last, I'm so very happy. And mamaya, I'll show you the blood results later on. Pinapakontinue na lang yung medicines ni Atlas. Tapos, pero okay na siya. Nag-recover na siya. So, good news. Yan na yung police. Oh my Pero, God. Pero, oh my God. Papalik na ng bahay. Galing sa doktor yung asong. Nag-ihihin ang dugo eh. Yay! Sige pa. Thank you, sir. Yay! Isa pa bang checkpoint? Yan. So, Mukhang pinadaan naman kami sa checkpoint. We're on our way home. It's fully recovered.
excited to share to you the blood works. It's here, so um, I have a very, very good news because finally Atlas has been fully recovered from early kiosis. So his RBC, his platelet count has drastically improved and I'm just so relieved that he is finally okay. So congratulations to me. I'm going to be able to get a good night's sleep finally. And then I just bought a few more medicines because we were told to finish the 21 day streak for his medication and treatment. He doesn't need to go back for a follow-up checkup because he has been treated and cured. So yay, congratulations. I'm very, very happy. Finally, I'm going to be able to do other vlogs for you in the future because I have been the last three weeks or a month maybe has been a very very tough I uh, know tough weeks for me because I have been focusing on Atlas and his treatment his medications I'm just so glad everything you know worked out okay so yon I'm very very happy just in case you don't know and um, just FYI a dog can get early kiosis in case he gets bitten by an infected tick. So that's how you get it. So in case you do get it, your pet gets it, please bring him to the vet because it's very, very important that he gets the correct diagnosis, correct treatment, and medication. So let's not self-medicate because it's very, very dangerous to our pets. So I'm very, very happy. I hope so are you. And then I'm hoping to see you soon in my next vlogs in the following weeks. Um, for the meantime, you can check out the rest of my vlogs. I'm going to be leaving a link down below. Thank you. Thank you for watching and staying with me today. Today, my most awaited day. I'm just so happy. So again, thank you. Thank you.